Hello, welcome back, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The blame game has begun. The blame game has begun, just as I predicted. It was only about money. Putting money in the military industrial complex bank accounts. That's all it about. It was never about Ukraine winning no war. The European Union and the America by then is starting to point the finger at Volensky, Ukraine President Volensky, saying that he isn't doing what he's supposed to do. Well, I knew that all along that's going to be the case because they're just using Ukraine as a proxy nation. And I'm very sorry for that because the Ukraine, Ukrainian people is going to suffer. Zelensky is saying that NATO and America then supply him with the weapons he needed to win the war. Even NATO Secretary General um, Jens Stoltenberg is pointing the finger at Zelensky. The Nazis is being defeated. Well, America and European Union and all the mainstream media tried not to see the the um, Ukrainian forces, the vast majority of them, as Nazis. They pretend that these people was not Nazis because these are the people that the European Union and America use to do a coup d'etat on the Ukrainian government back in 2014. Now, if you realize the European Union is very, very divided, you know, these people are pretending to be united, but they are divided. Italy just went to, to, um, <clears throat> To, um, to Kiev to try to broke a deal, a peace deal but the Americans don't want no peace deal as yet because Italy is heavily dependent on the, 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 the Russian oil and gas and it is killing their economy Hungary as well has told the European Union they will not vote for no no um, ban on Russian oil because the European Union and America doesn't have an alternative for them. So it'd be stupid to vote against your best interests because if they go have to take loans from the European Union or the private sector like the IMF and the World Bank and stuff like that, they always can come with strings attached and it's going to cripple the economy or sell out a vast majority of their resources can go to the, into the private sector never to be returned so every time they need money they have to borrow the European Union is actually killing the working class people because we are suffering here as well really suffering The military experts have predicted that the Europe, um, Ukraine is going to lose the east, the Donbass region to, to, um, to Russia because the majority of people there is Russian culture, Russian speaking and they don't want to, to deal with Kiev because Kiev and Zelensky and his crew is Nazis. And, and they don't want to be part of the Ukraine. They want to be part of Russia. And since 2014, the Russian-speaking area of the, the, um, in the East wanted to break away because the Ukrainians and the Nazis were shelling them, fighting, killing them, slaughtering them. And the media had nothing to say. Even Pope 
Francis have on Monday again, today is Friday, on Monday again, post, Francis said what he said before, about four weeks ago or so, five weeks ago. The Russians being provoked to take an action in Ukraine. And the people that started the war should stop the war, should end it. That's coming from the Pope. If you believe in Christ, then you should believe in Pope Francis telling the truth. He's know what he knows what's going on. He knows what's really going on. We are not being told the truth by the mainstream media. Because it's not about Ukraine. It's about starting a proxy war in Ukraine to pump money there to, to the military complex, industrial complex, and these other entities. All these big banks and all these people are involved, the politicians and stuff, all of these people are going to get paid. The only people that's going to suffer is the ordinary Ukrainian people because they can lose the eastern part of Ukraine and any deal that is broken. And, they, and that's the wealthiest part of, of Ukraine, the eastern part. That got the gas, the oils, and a vast majority of the farming land. So who's the losers? And, and the, the most important thing as well, they have the biggest and the best ports closer to Europe. So, so, so who, who, who's going to be the winners here? Is nothing in it for the Ukraine people. So 90% of that industrial land is gone. It's basically nothing left over for the Ukraine people to rebuild. So they can have to take loans again from the European Union. Um, America, IMF, the World Bank, the World Development Bank, and all of these people come with, with strings attached and high interest rates. The war was about European Union and to NATO and America trying to provoke Russia, trying to um, destabilize the economy. And it backfired. It backfired big time on these people because these people are too smart for their own good because they're up to no good. They don't want trade. They, they won't have an advantage. They want to have an advantage and they want to rig the game in their own favor, to favor them. It's already rigged to favor them, but they're too greedy. Greed has no limits. America is trying to contain Russia and China. After America and the European Union sell out their industries, sell out their technology, now they're trying to claw as much back as possible, stopping these nations from growing. China haven't done anything wrong, as far as I can see. All they do is cheating and stealing technology and stuff because the foolish European Union and American decided to ship off the industry and technology to them. So that they can have low wage workers exploit the, these people and increase their profits back here in the West. So you can't blame China, you can't blame Russia, you can't blame these nations, you can't blame India. And now they they they, they are ready now to throw Zelensky under the under the bus. Boris Johnson went down to um Kiev early in the war, two weeks into the war, and tell Zelensky, do not take a peace deal. Keep fighting. We's going to support you. They haven't supported the Ukrainian soldiers with the weapons. They sent a lot of old crap to them. Now they can throw him under the bus because America and the European Union can't be trusted. They can't be trusted. And and the thing is about this here, America planned to um, collapse the cripple the um the Russian economy. They 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 plan to cri um, cripple the economy. 
why 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 instead of um trying to build an economy and look out for their own people they're looking out to crash that's how this how the the, the world new world order is work they don't have nothing to offer but bombs sanctions and bombs that's how that's how these people roll it's like a cartel and it and it has to stop you're not going to get anywhere by forcing people putting a, a gun to a person head and that's what the european union and the americans always do they always use force and any deal trail deal that they do with small nations other nations they always want the upper hand always have a big advantage so it they benefit them financially you're going against the principle it, things is coming full circle around now because the nazis destroy europe in the second world war and now it, is, it looks like it's going to happen again but it's going to be financial disaster for the european union anyhow I want to thank you people for watching my video and remember these people that is in control is maniacs their social past their narcissists and they have nothing good for the normal people the ordinary man they do not look out for they're all corrupt and I feel very sad for these your um these Ukrainians because they can they can really suffer now for decades to come. I want you people to like, share, and subscribe. Because this morning I get up, I've been blocked by Facebook. I can't really um um I can't really comment on it for 90 days. I can't really comment. My comments is gonna be pushed right up down to the bottom. <laughs> And there's a reason for that. Because what I comment, I comment the truth. Because I'm not interested in playing um, um, football games like I'm a fan. So I'm going to stick to my, my, my team. No matter what. Win or loss. True or false. I can stick to my team. I don't play that, those games. I just want the truth and I want the best for the, the ordinary man. So we got to come together and build our societies and communities together. Because we can't depend on the politicians and, and big corporations. We have to exclude them soon from now from our life. And any chance you get, you support your local business around you. And that's what I do. As much as possible, when I travel, I don't stay in these big hotels. I don't go to B and B. I try to stay in local people houses and apartments. And I, if you can do the same too, because it's a big uh, monopoly and you can't get away from these big businesses. It's hard. I know that. But anyhow, this video is going on for a little too long, so take care, and I can hear you again soon. Bye for now. Oh, one thing. I got my favorite t-shirt today. I need me. It's drop beaks, not bombs. <laughs> See? So this is my favorite t-shirt. I don't want to drop bombs. I just want to drop beats because I love music. Anyhow, take care. I want you to like, share, and subscribe. And I hear you soon. Bye for now.